let's jump into using KSQLDB on Confluent Cloud. First, click the Create on My Own button. You'll land on a new application page where you'll be prompted about global access or granular access. You'll want to click global access for this exercise and click continue. You'll land on a new application page and be asked to configure your application name and set the number of streaming units you want for your application. Let's set the name to ksqldb underscore demo. Beneath that, you should see a streaming units option, but let's just leave it at the default, which is four. Click launch application. Provisioning can take several minutes, so we'll fast forward to a point where it is provisioned. Our app is provisioned and up and running, so let's go open it. You'll find yourself at an editor tab. This is where we can enter in queries and run them. Let's start off with creating a stream called movements. Go ahead and run that query. A new stream should show up on your right hand sidebar. Using the exercise instructions, paste in the insert statements and run the query. What we're doing here is adding data to our stream. Let's move over to the flow tab. The flow tab helps you see what streams, tables, and persistent queries are running in your KSQL DB application. Let's go ahead and click on the movement stream. You'll see more data show up on the right hand sidebar. Let's go back to our editor tab. Running KSQL DB in Confluent Cloud does help remove some operational complexities, but sometimes you will want to use a CLI to work with KSQL DB. Let's head over to a terminal window to see what that's like. Here, we'll be running the KSQL DB CLI and Docker and connecting to Confluent Cloud, specifically our KSQL DB application. Let's look at what our Docker Compose file contains. Let's go ahead and cat that out. Next, we'll run Docker Compose up. Let's switch over to a new tab. Let's enter in this docker exec command to run the CLI. We're gonna run some CLI commands to start. The CLI should give you some welcome text and then it's ready to go. We'll enter in this query here to show the streams that we have inside of our Confluent Cloud KSQL DB applications. Look, you can see our movement stream. Let's insert some more data into our stream. Go ahead and run this query. Before we select any data from our stream, we need to set the auto offset reset policy to earliest. This means we'll start reading at the very beginning of the stream. With that set, we can now select star from movements and emit changes. This will continuously provide results until we kill the query. Now let's go ahead and run a create table statement. We can use a similar command as the show streams to show tables. The KSQL DB CLI is a useful tool, especially for automation. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Postman to use the KSQL DB REST API. Starting in Postman, we'll use the KSQL DB REST API to access our KSQL DB app in Confluent Cloud. Click on the Auth tab, and you'll see the KSQL DB API key and secret. Click on the Body tab, you'll see it's loaded with the show stream statement. Now let's go ahead and send this post request and see the movement stream in the results. Now let's switch gears a little bit and show some tables and send some results to that table. Let's switch tabs and enter an insert statement to insert some more data into our movement stream. We can send the request for this insert statement, which is thus putting data inside of our movement stream. Let's go ahead and switch tabs back over to our select statement. Go ahead and select from the person stats table to see the results of our insert. Since person stats is based on the movement stream that we inserted into, we should see some data come up. In closing, the KSQL DB REST API is a great way to interact with your KSQL DB applications, whether they're running in Confluent Cloud or self-managed.